It's been a few months since the release of the code review tool that Medi and Remy created, and the new release has features to help you build faster loading and better performing apps. It also has a new unattended run feature, and Medi is going to show us all of this in PowerCat Live. Welcome to PowerCat Live. My name is Phil Topper with the PowerCat team, and I am here again with my fellow PowerCat, Medi. Hey, Medi. Hey, how are you, man? Good. So five months ago, we were here in these very same spots talking about the code review tool that you released. And I just got to read a few of the comments that the video got. You know, I can't wait to take this for a spin. Absolutely awesome. Exactly what I needed. It's been five months. What's happened with the code review tool since then? Yeah, it actually has been a great success. It's as you know, it's a tool we use ourselves for doing our own. Absolutely, I love it. Uh, yeah. We have over almost 400 organizations worldwide using or installed the tool. Uh, so we, we know that uh, people actually use it to to get enough get a, uh, a view of the quality of their app. It's a huge time saver for sure. So what's happened in the last five months? What have you got new that you're going to release? So we have new updates. We, we continue improving the tool, add new patterns. We we just released actually a few days ago uh, a new version with few features. Like we we added some patterns. We improved the quality of the code review itself, the nice. components that presents the the code, uh, and a few other features like that. So well, can you show us some of this? Like what's what's the new pattern that you've added? So as you can see, the uh, the tool hasn't changed in looks uh, that much. Uh -huh. We added a new pattern. One that I really uh, uh, find super useful in my views is this data loading strategy. But if uh, if you run your app and get a, a red uh, a red mark on this one, uh, right. you know that you probably loaded uh, more data than you needed to uh, upfront in your app. So for that people who want to optimize that initial loading experience. They want to like make sure that the app is, you know, the user gets to the app right away. They of course. Pay attention to this one because this is where we tell you, you know, you're going, you're loading, you're prefetching a lot more data than what you need uh, for the next immediate next screen. So, for example, you might have a gallery, a collection that you are that you're initializing on the on start, uh, but the data itself is not used maybe until uh, screen number three or four. Mm -hmm. uh, so our our goal here is to let you know that you know what you could actually delay this to maybe later on in the experience so that uh, the user doesn't keep waiting for this additional data to get loaded so that's one example there are other that's examples pretty common yeah. where, where maybe someone has a, a navigate on the on which is a pattern we see all the time you have a navigate on the on start uh, which ends up blocking the on start execution up until that uh, statement. Uh, and that again is a, is a negative experience for users because they have to wait for uh, for that loading animations to finish before they can get to the app. Uh, so the other improvement we did yeah. here is just around the code review itself. So uh, you still at some point might wanna go and, and review particular snippets of the code in the app. So uh, the code viewer itself has, uh, has now syntax coloring as you can see. Uh, nice. So for us, uh, just uh, improving the lisibility. So if you do actually search for something, so let's do a filter. Oh, uh, so you get you get to the filter operation here, and we highlight if there are data sources that we're using, so that you can go and select. Anyways, it's all all wow, uh, better color text text color and just to make it easy to read. So that's one improvement. We have other features, things like uh, ability to deep link to a particular review. So if you have multiple reviews and want to send a link to a, to a user uh, for uh, for review, they, you can send them that. And we made a lot of fixes. There were quite a bit of optimizations that we needed to do in order to mm. accommodate for even larger apps. So we had some uh, some limitations in terms of how big the app can be in order to be processed by the tool. So we are we are increasing that limit. Uh, oh, that's great. For optimization. So again, uh, those are you know uh, you know improvements that are already out there in the in the link below if you want to download the latest and, and greatest. Uh, the code review tool has been very useful for many, many users, and I strongly recommend everyone to run it for their app. Uh, the one last uh, feature that I want to yeah. talk about, uh, which is also important, is we do have an unattended mode. Uh, so if I go, uh, so if I go to the solution itself, and let me. Uh... So we have these two flows that are 
useful in the in the sense that you can uh, you can have an unattended mode uh, for for your tool. So meaning that you could set up this flow uh, and let's let's go to it. Automatic review on publish is the name of the flow. Uh, but the idea with this flow is that you can configure it so that you it takes an app ID or a collection of app IDs. Uh, so you can imagine you have a, a developer or your app itself, you, you provide the app ID and each time you publish a new app, it automatically runs the tool and sends you an email letting you know where you stand in terms of the score, the grade, the issues that you have. Oh, wow. So it's, it's something you can hook up to your app and each time uh, you know you get a report and you can see your progress as, as you're doing that. So this unattended mode is, is really useful for for those scenarios where uh, you want a, a continuous uh, testing of your app. So what have you got planned over the next uh, five months? We'll do another video. Well, uh, so right now one issue that we that comes around that comes often is the MS FTP file. That's a requirement. So in order for you to to upload uh, yeah. your app, you need to go to your app and download it locally. Right. Uh, some people get confused whether it needs to be a solution or mm -hmm. needs to be an export. So we want to be able to provide, let you provide a solution file. Uh, and uh, from there, we give you the option of picking which app within that solution file you want to review. Uh, and we want to also be able to give you some feedback on your flows as well. So wow. uh, so that when you upload a solution, you get a, a, an overview over, uh, over not only the app itself, but the flow mm -hmm. and the asset that you might have there as well. So that's... That's hopefully what we're working on to, uh, in the next few months. Look forward to that video. And if anyone needs to wants to download this, they can download the solution files at the link uh, we've got in the description. Anything else they should know? Yeah, no, it's pretty easy. We made the install. There's no services to run. There's nothing. You just install the solution and your app is, and uh, you can use the tool as is. So, Mehdi, thanks for the check-in on this. Those are some great new features. And I guess we'll talk yeah. in another five months on this. Yeah, sounds good.